Hello and welcome to STEM with Stanley. I'm Miss Keisha and here's my little helper, Ava. Today we have an exciting STEM activity for preschoolers. We'll be exploring the Dinosaur Egg Science Project. This hands-on activity will teach kids about paleontology, geology, scientific processes, dinosaur species identification, creativity, and extinction awareness. So what's a paleontologist? A paleontologist is a person who studies fossils and prehistoric life to understand Earth's history, past ecosystems, and extinct species. They analyze ancient plants and animals preserved in rocks to learn about life's evolution over millions of years. It's a Gemma Stem here with Stanley, and we have a question for you. Stanley actually had a question. How long does it take a dinosaur egg to hatch? Scientists have been studying this for years. Depending on the species, it could take a few weeks, it could take a few months, but today you're going to get to be a scientist to see how long it'll take your dinosaur egg to hatch. So once you have frozen your dinosaur, we're going to see how long it takes it to actually melt, which would actually emulate the hatching process for dinosaurs. Before we begin, let's gather the materials for our project. First, you'll need a container for something to hold um, your eggs and the water will be pouring on them. Some salt, um, some scissors, small dinosaur toys, um, a few balloons, a water balloons would be preferred, but if you only have regular balloons, that works too. Um, a cup of warm water and a cup of room temperature water. Also, you'll need a freezer to freeze the eggs in. Now let's hatch our dinosaur eggs. To start, step one is to take the dinosaur and put it inside of our balloon. So we're gonna open the top of the balloon, stretch it out, and place the dinosaur inside. It might be a little difficult, but you just keep pushing and you can get it in there. Ta-da, we got the dinosaur in the balloon. Um, at first it was a little hard, but if you find resistance, you can always blow into the balloon to make it bigger um, and then ease the dinosaur down slowly. Step two, fill the balloon with water, tie it shut, and freeze it overnight. The easiest way to do this is to do it in the sink. Here we have our balloon filled with um, water with our dinosaur inside. So what we'll do now is place it in the freezer for a few hours, but just preferably overnight to make sure it's frozen. Step three, cut the top of the balloon off and remove it. to melt the eggs and hatch the dinosaurs. All right, you can pour it, Ava. Let's see what happens. Is it melting? Yes, it's, it's melting slow. Well, yeah, all right. That's enough, Ava. <laughs> That's enough. It's melting really slow, right? Now let's try to melt this one with warm water. Is this one melting? Yeah. Yeah, a little faster? Yes. Yes, but not super fast, right? <clears throat> so step six, oh, there we go. We can touch the dinosaur egg, touch the egg. Wow, it's almost hatched. Next, we're gonna try salt and see if that changes how fast the egg melts. Let's pour the salt on there. What's happening, Ava? It's melting fast. Yes, very fast. Look, we can touch that dinosaur egg. Look. Can you take it out? Almost, almost, almost. Swirl it around in there a little more. Keep trying to take it out. Good job. There we go. It fully hatched. To learn about how we hatched our dinosaurs, first we have to talk about matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. That means that water is matter. It comes in three different forms, solid, liquid, or gas. Water and ice are actually the same type of matter, just in different forms. Ice is a solid and water is a liquid. This means that they're made up of the same thing, just in different ways. Matter switches from form to form all the time. At room temperature, ice melts into water. It melts even faster with the help of warm water. Salt affects this melting process because it makes the ice melt quicker at a lower temperature. That's why adding salt to the dinosaur eggs made them hatch faster. Enjoy hatching your dinosaur and exploring the wonders of water and ice. Let's check in with the Gem of Stem and Stanley and see how their project's coming along. 
So Stanley and I have finished and our dinosaur actually hatched out of our egg. So let's talk about this exciting process that we all just finished. So let's talk about the science. So we can study more science and learn more about paleontologists who actually study dinosaurs. We can also research different dinosaurs and their habitats. For technology, we could go online and find out lots of information about dinosaurs. We can visualize and explore dinosaurs and their habitats digitally. We can also document the dinosaur egg experiment that we just completed and actually document how long did it take for our eggs to hatch. And we could post those videos and photos everywhere for our family and friends and even our neighbors to see. All right, so you guys had an opportunity to be engineers today. You got to design and create your very own dinosaur eggs using very simple ingredients, water and dinosaurs, right? Now you can actually become mathematicians and actually graph out how long it actually took for your dinosaur egg to hatch compared to one of your friends in your class of one of your siblings if you're doing this at home with one of your brothers or sisters. You can also record and analyze data during the freezing process. How long does it actually take for it to actually freeze and then how long does it take for it to actually thought out. All of these things are going to make you great paleontologists as you continue to study more about the life of dinosaurs. And for more exciting experiments similar to this dinosaur experiment, be sure to go to littlestimlab.com.